Alright, welcome to part 5 of this tutorial. It's Dev here again. If you have been following along, you'd be pretty sick of my voice by now. Um, if you're not sick of it, good news for you, there's lots more to come. Uh, let's have a look at what we've got here in this model so far. Um, I was doing this a couple of days ago since I last did this. Uh, that cylinder there is the body, which we'll rename that so we can keep track of what we're doing. And that cylinder there is our arm mounts, which I've really mucked up naming. That's what happens if you have to look at your keyboard while you're typing, you tend to do some silly things. Right, so the cylinder we've got here, if we want to duplicate this, Control c Control v and we'll rename this to arms. With this we're going to form our arm shape, um, we're going to change the radius of this to about 180, and the height to about no, 1900. That's a good number, probably a bit big actually bit too carried away there, we'll go 1800. Um, rotation segments is fine, height segments is fine. Um, so let's get into this. Um, we're going to make this editor tool to start with and we're going to bring out our knife tool, so structure knife and want a loop cut. Make sure you don't have restricted selection or any of those other things set there. Uh, with this we're going to create a cut at about that point there, which looks like about 90% of the way across, if you hold shift and want to set that to 90, yours may have the offset wanting to be set at 10, it depends on which way around Cinema 4D thinks it's working and as I said on this side as well, this side here wants to be 10 chop there, and that gives us two even shapes there, all these middle polygons we can get rid of. Um, we'll grab our rectangle select tool in the middle here. If you've got tolerant selection or any select visible ticked, you can untick that now. And drag a big selection across there and hit delete. Right, so that's given us, if we rotate around, that shape there. What we want to do is switch into one of the end views. So camera, we'll go into the left. And choose right if you wish to be a bit different from me. And we'll switch to points mode. What we're wanting to do is get a straight line across here. And halfway down and looking at that, our geometry is set wrong. So if we click on this tool here, this will allow us to rotate the whole object. And grab our rotate tool, we can rotate it around 90 degrees, which would be the P rotation. So if you want to set it down the bottom, you can always type in 90 or minus 90 there. Or just drag it around holding shift which will allow you to move around it in 5 degree increments. Uh, that gives us our straight line across here which we're going to use to create some more of our arm shaping. Um, in points mode, grab our rectangle tool. We want a rectangle selection across there. Uh, we still want that point there, where is it? I grabbed one bit too many, so I'll undo that. And I'll unselect that point and delete that. Gives us a straight edge across here. And as I said before, you don't have select only visible and tolerance selection the set, which means around the other side, which is the right hand view side, which we've got rid of all the polygons there. Well, so now we've got the shape here which forms the top of the shoulder if you look at the image. We've formed that shape there and from there here we just need to extrude down a bit and in a bit and down a bit and out a bit and down a bit and round it off and so forth which we'll take care of probably in the next couple of tutorials. Uh, for now we'll get a little bit of the basic shape going. Uh, if we switch back to perspective mode so we can move around and see what we're doing. Uh, we'll actually close off this hole here at the bottom best way of doing this is with your um, create polygon tool which is from the structure menu 
go in here and choose create polygon. We'll turn off the visibility on our arm mount for a minute. So we're going to come down to this view here. We want to make a polygon from that corner. Helps if you zoom right in here because you can select wrong points from time to time. Come down and there is a point at the bottom which we should link to over to here, across to here and back up to there. It does give us a five sided polygon which you should be trying to avoid. Um, there are some rules in modelling like try to stick to a four sided polygon. In this case we've got a five but it's no big deal really since it's going to form the bottom of a bit that probably won't be seen unless you're on the most obscure of angles. And again, closed up on the other side. So there, 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 and up to there. Back across. Alright, as you can see there, I've selected the wrong polygon at one point. Uh, that's what happens when you don't listen to your advice to zoom right in and you can select the points you want. To there, to there, down to here. to here, back up to that point there, and on to, oh, I did it again, uh, I'll just pause here while I get this polygon right, I seem to be cocking up a bit, so there we go, we've got those polygons <laughs> created eventually, um, last thing we should probably do is close off this polygon hole we've got there, uh, again that's not too difficult, the close polygon tool should hopefully do the trick, we'll have a look and see about that. If it doesn't, we'll start closing them off manually. As you can see, that's going to work. And we do the same on the other side again. Uh, spin your model around. Uh, when I clicked undo, when I screwed up before, I deleted that bottom polygon I'd made. So I'll just make that again and close off that hole. And that'll about do this video, and we'll come back on the next one and we'll start extruding our arms down.